biting into a sandwich should be cause for celebration, but can also lead to disaster. I'm gonna show you how to build a sandwich so the fillings never fall out, using an old friend of mine I like to call science. Joining me now is scientist and comedian Tim Lee. Hey, Tim. Hey, Dan. Tim, why don't you do me a favor? I want you to press down on this sandwich to simulate bite force. Let's see what happens. Slippery sandwich fillings, such an issue, right? I call this the sliced cucumber conundrum. So what can we do to make our sandwiches better? What you want is a sandwich that has a lot of resistive force to that pressure, a lot of friction. And for a sandwich, what we're looking for is ingredients with a very high static friction. Are there certain greens you think that would have extra friction? Yeah, there are certain greens that have a higher coefficient of friction. Uh, ones that come to mind are like arugula and frise. Why? Rougher surfaces tend to have a higher coefficient of friction, and those are just greens that have rougher surfaces. I'm gonna show you something I've come up with that I think you're gonna like. It's called the silver lining of greens. The most slippery of common sandwich ingredients are cucumber, tomato, and avocado. The first thing I do is mash up the avocado and use it as a spread, because it's less slippery that way. After that, don't bunch up all your sandwich greens in one spot in the sandwich. Instead, do thin layers of greens throughout. That creates friction between each layer. So Tim, we have the sandwich that I made using the silver lining of greens. I put it on softer bread, which requires less bite force. Should we go ahead and, and rather than simulate bite force, give it some real bite force? Oh yeah, I've been waiting for this. All right. Design. You like that? See how it holds together so nicely? Well, Tim Lee, thank you very much. And thank you also to Friction. Check out my podcast. It's called The Sporkful. Subscribe today.